Okay, so we are here at Nationals. A lot of fencing going on. I feel like fencing is one of those sports that most people think they're like, oh, like, I could do that. And you're just poking them with the sword. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see if I could do this. I haven't seen this much fencing since the last contractors convention I went to. Definitely a lot more swords at this one. Personally, I've never really had any beef with anyone, but the art of dueling with swords, I don't know, it just seems kind of, uh, freaking sick. How you doing? Nothing much. Today we're gonna be checking out foil, which Vince here is a master in. But, you know, first we have to put on our gear. Like, like a lot of gear. I guess, I don't know, now that I think about it, if I'm getting stabbed. More gear's fine. Ah, yes, which is a very important thing that Vince... Vince just said. Wait, could you guys hear that? Was there, was there no audio? Hey Seth, I've seen your YouTube videos. They give me joy in life. What brings you in today? I was, I've only got one, so I've got to take this back. <laughs> oh, this is spot on, dude. No, yeah, this is what you said, right? Uh, oh, nothing much. Uh, I just saw some people doing fencing, and I thought I would learn some fencing. Yeah, Seth, I can help you with fencing. <laughs> okay. And now that that's fixed, we can move on. I think the coolest part about fencing is the swords, obviously, because they're not like typical gear for other combat sports. Both players are connected to the same circuit. Okay. The top of the foil or the, or the epee or the entire length of the saber mm -hmm. is part of the circuit as well. Okay. Right. And both weapons act as a switch. For example, for foil, yeah. I hit you with the tip of the button right. and a light goes on. If I hit the lame, the colored light goes on, red. Red right. or green. Yep. If I hit anything else, the white light goes on. Gotcha. So, so it doesn't count unless you hit me in the chest. Which is really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the rule set. So I was ready to get my last piece of equipment, the glove, and suit up. All right, Seth, this is a regular size glove that I picked for you to wear. Oh, no, this glove is too, too small. Haha, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, foiled again. Yeah. Dang it, I missed my own joke. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, okay, next I'll be connected to this electrical wiring that's running underneath the strip that you fight on. This essentially connects your vest, the sword, and this electrical beepy thing. Which, funnily enough, I already knew. This isn't my first rodeo. This is my second rodeo. See, in the past I had done Epe with Coach Jen, where whatever you touch with the end of the sword, you get a point for. Foil is a little more complicated. So as the referee, essentially what I'm watching for as these two fencers are jockeying for position, mm -hmm. is who begins the attack. So essentially, both players, uh, both fencers start off equally. Okay. And the referee is looking for who initiates the attack. Okay. Once that in attack has been initiated, uh, the sequence starts. Right. So the attack can either hit. Like, you attack me, right. you can hit. Yep. Hall, attack, touch. Okay. You can attack me, uh, I can parry it. Right. Okay, now I have the right of way. This rule set gets kind of complicated for a YouTube video, so let me put it this way. Foil essentially has like an offense and a defense, much like football. In football, you have the ball and you're running towards your goal. Foil's version of offense is moving towards your target, ready to attack. Then there's the defense, where you're trying to stop the other person from scoring. As a defensive player in foil, you can then intercept the football, if you will, by parrying or making the other person move backwards again. But much like football, you can't really score unless you have the quote-unquote ball, or in this case the right of way okay Seth now you understand the rules it's time to do the real work and we'll have tested how much better you've gotten great the first you will face me should I go easy medium or hard uh, I'm up for any challenge because I'm a fierce competitor and I'm not afraid to get stabbed in the neck with a sword your mobility is superior your balance and your ability to do small change of direction okay usually you don't get that out of somebody for quite a while I just want to be clear, he said all that on his own. You do the movement changes mm -hmm. uh, with your hips and your center, okay? but then at the very last second, if the attack was continuing forward, you kind of caved a little bit. It's interesting, it's nerve-wracking. It's really hard to spot the end of the sword. You're like, right, no <laughs> way. Easy on me. By the way, the answer, how hard was he going to, it was easy. 
And I still looked like this. Um, but the only reason he went easy on me is because I had a class that I was going to do afterwards to get a bit more of the fundamentals. You know, the very basics. The multiple steps forwards, a couple steps back. We worked on some crossovers. Then we played some catch. You guys know catch. Um, we worked on lunges. Um, jumping. We got, we got jumpies in. And then of course we played Simon Says, which by the way, I'm undefeated in. Seth, I bested you. Do five push-ups. Trap. I've been bested. <clears throat> anyway, after finishing Simon Says in the rest of class, I was ready for some competitive matches. Uh, before we do like the final bouts, um, I don't have audio, so I'm gonna need you to like, be, I'm gonna need you to, like make some motivational music for me. And my, and it's like bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I want to be the ba best, Vince. Ba -dum, ba -dum, and I'm ready ba -dum, to face ba -dum, you, ba -dum, and then ba -dum, I'll, I'll take over. You go ahead. You're bum, not. Bum, you're not ready. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Oh, that's back to me. That's back to you. Uh, dun, you're, dun, probably, dun, 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 dun. you're probably right. Dun, dun, dun. But if I never face dun, my fear dun, of being stabbed dun, in the neck with big dull dun, dun, electrical dun. needle, bum, I don't know if I bum, ever will. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Bum, okay. But bum, first, bum, you bum, must bum, face my bum, students. Bum, bum, bum. Dun, I, dun, no, dun. that's it. You're good now. Oh. Um. Match one. Fight. Our courageous hero, who is unafraid of being stabbed in the neck with a dull electrical needle, starts off this match with a 1-0 deficit, only to come back using the defensive versus offensive rule to parry and strike to get his own point. He proceeds to drop another two points, leading him to desperation. However, he does find success in small movements. By utilizing his distance and range, he's able to play defense and win another point, getting him closer to the five-point match. At this point, the announcer, who is also the guy who's fencing on the right, is starting to get a raspy voice. He, that other guy scored another point. And needing two more points to win, our fierce competitor tries the jumpy. It didn't. No work on the jumpies. Okay, uh, just a heads up. I think I ripped my underwear back there. Yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, we're, we're back. Oh, oh, sorry, we're sorry. Script, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> start again. <laughs> is that a, is that a regular thing? I... No, that's the first time someone has disclosed that to me. I actually did, by the way. I can confirm that I, no, I did, I did. It was confirmed later? Yeah, no, I gotcha. did, I confirmed it later. Yeah, that's a power, powerful lunge. Okay, so because the other way of announcing hurt my throat, I'm just gonna kind of, um, I'll just kind of summarize the rest of the matches. It's over. Um, I, yeah, I don't have audio, so I don't know what this guy said, but I'm sure it was something nice about, you know, look, keep your head up. I know I five nilled you, but it's going to be okay. What would you say separates people from like an early on level mm -hmm. and like the highest level? The ability to lose. Ooh, that's it. hundred percent, man. Fencing will teach you how to lose. And I took that personally. See, for my next match, I would be up 4-1, with only 37 seconds left on the clock. Oh, also, there is a time limit, by the way. Uh, with such a short amount of time left, I figured I could just kind of play around with him defensively, make sure he doesn't score, and earn my victory. A victory that I dreamed of ever since I saw the national competition just a few- Okay, um, that's fine. Uh, with 22 seconds left, I was up by two points, and I had done my losing. There were no lessons left to be learned. All I needed to do was coast for 20 more seconds to secure... Okay. I was up by one with eight seconds left. I played so many games of catch for this. This was my moment. Three, two... Are, are you kidding me? Okay. Now, there are 2.69 seconds left on the clock, and it is time. The ability to lose. So you need to have some of your points in offense, some uh -huh. of your points yeah, yeah, in yeah. defense, yep. so you need to be able to switch hats. Three, two, one. <laughs> I feel like I should make a point of saying this. This is a teenager. <laughs> 
first that went so easy on me. Turned it on at the last second, and I happened to pull something cheeky out of nowhere. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, um, and then I challenged Vince to our final duel, you know, of course, with, with steaks. All right, before we have our finale, we have to have some sort of steaks. Well, what, do you, what would you like to lose? I don't know. 25 push-ups, maybe? I mean, I'm not going to be doing any push-ups. Where'd the music go? No, put the put the music back on. When the music stops, they score a bunch of They score a bunch of points. <sighs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to learn more about fencing, stop by Forge Fencing here in Durham, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> uh Seth. Just oh wait. To say thank you. Ah. Seth, to say thank you for coming here, I would like you, I would like you to take a wire transfer of ten thousand dollars. Thank you, Vince. That means a lot to me. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you if you want to learn anything about fencing, like this is the premier spot. It's very rare that you get to have like a, a really good culture of people that are all teaching. It, like this is a good spot. This is a really cool spot. So Thanks, thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Also, I know it's you guys that are behind this whole thing about like all my computer stuff messing up. I don't know how you're doing it. But you have to stop. I, I don't know if I can do this again, okay? You have to stop. Just subscribe. And hopefully none of this ever happens again.